Hello, this is Lucas Palmeira from Imaginando, and today I'm going to teach you how to set up Logic Pro Audio with VS Visual Synthesizer. I'm going to show you how, to, how you can use your compositions and your musical creations to create interesting visuals with VS Visual Synthesizer. So get, let's get right into it. And I have here a small composition with a kick, a snare, a hi-hat and a bass on all on di on four different tracks let's hear it was everything on mute okay small simple composition so the first thing that we're going to do is route the um, midis into different channels in vs so we open the environment, the MIDI environment in Logic Audio, and we create this object called Transformer. So we go here and let's start with the first track, which is the kick and connect it to the Transformer. I'm going to change the name here to kick to VS. And now I take the, this chord out of the transformer and connect it to VS. Then we double click the transformer and here where it says channel below, instead of through, we put it fixed and we're gonna send it to channel one. We're gonna create a new one, transformer and do the same thing for each one of the channels. So now snare, I'm gonna call it snare Transformer, fix, channel two. Now we take the output and connect it to VS. Just gonna put it this one here. Now another one, transformer, hi-hat, VS. Now fix and channel three. Let's change the name to hi-hat to VS and here snare to VS. Finally, let's do the bass. Call it DRC to VS. This is our base. And now connect it to VS, change it to channel four. Okay, so now if I open v VS Visual Synthesizer, I'm already receiving here channel on channel one if I turn trigger on we can see it's being triggered by the kick so I can leave this one on the second channel we had a snare I'm gonna choose here a shape simple shape channel two trigger MIDI enable and we have our shape on the snare now let's do something from the hi-hats, which I routed to channel 3. And let's put this ferro fluid, for example. Let's change the color so we can see them. Trigger MIDI, now channel 3. Make them smaller so we can see them better. And now for the bass. Let's choose something for the bass. For example, let's do this glowing circle. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna put, for example, a red color on this glowing circle and I'm gonna use Trigger MIDI, channel 4. Since it's always playing, now I'm gonna modulate it with the notes. So I'm gonna change the radius, which is the size of it, to change with the notes. So I'm going to come here to the matrix, radius, keyboard. see it's changing size with the note so now the last thing we gotta do here is use audio and route audio inside of VS so you can use audio as a trigger so what I'm going to do is select all the tracks on the the project and then I'm gonna right click it and create track stack. And I'm gonna use a summing stack, okay? So I have here the sum three, which has, it's basically a folder with all the four tracks and it's receiving and it's sending and it has all the audio of them. And this means I can send all of this audio or I can just choose a track and send it to VS. Now, a great thing here with Logic, uh, with Logic Pro Audio is that on your uh, instrument window, you have something called sidechain. And if you press it, you can choose the input or the instruments or the bus that is receiving all of this. And as you can see here on the stack, we have the input is a bus one. So it created a bus to join all these tracks when it created the, um, the instrument stack. So if I want to choose just an instrument, I go here to instrument and I can choose any of the tracks that are playing. But since we want all of them, I'm gonna choose bus one. So now if I play it, we can see here that we're receiving all, but first you saw that the, the volume was louder because it's being sent to the, um, to the VS synthesizer and then the VS synthesizer is being routed again to master. So what we have to do is just mute the VS synthesizer if you don't want to hear it doubled. But we, you can see here that we have uh, audio playing. So now we can go and choose something, a layer to be triggered here by the audio. And let's use, for example, this plasma particles, for example. And what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna enable it. Now I'm gonna drop the brightness to zero. And here, where it says amplitude modulator, I'm gonna give brightness to the amplitude modulator. So now when it plays, the threshold should be higher. And only when it plays, I have to put it, let's give it a slower release. When it plays, when it goes above the threshold level, those little dots appear. You can make it more reactive or less reactive according to the sounds that you're using and how you're using the attack and release time. Uh, to react to that threshold. So this was basically it. So guys, I just showed you how you can use uh, your compositions and route uh, each of your tracks into MIDI information to route it to VS. So you can use that information to trigger um, visual events on VS and also how you can use audio to route it to VS and use the audio as a trigger to control your visual elements as well. This was it for now. We were going to be doing more tutorials like this, explaining you how to do things with VS. I hope this was clear enough. We will see you again on the next tutorial. So goodbye, guys.